Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're on my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in this video, you must have read the title already. We are going to talk about beginner friendly makeup. I'm going to not just show you like products which are beginner friendly, but I'm also going to use those products and show you how to like, you know, apply them and the basic, basic makeup look you can do if you're just starting off. I thought like that way you can actually see how the products work as well. And then, you know, you can also see like what look you can achieve. Uh, yeah, excited. Let's get started. Let's dive into some beginner friendly makeup kit and like application okay so my face is already nice and prepped and this is one biggest suggestion if you're just starting out makeup don't ever start makeup on like bare skin i have like my moisturizer on my sunscreen on like everything is on and i'm now just going to go in with uh, makeup so if you're a beginner and you just started doing makeup and you don't know how makeup looks on your skin or anything like that applying a lot of products on your skin can be very very overwhelming because um i i think people have these uh, very like uh, unrealistic standards of how makeup is going to look on um you know your skin but uh, in reality it is very different it is going to look like makeup it is going to look like there is something sitting on your face it is going to make you look very very uh, different as well so like initially when you apply makeup and like if you're trying to do everything like beauty influencers tell you like from you know contour to bronzing to like clash to like everything it'll be too much it'll be too overwhelming to you and to your wallet because you cannot really possibly buy everything at once so these products like that's how i picked it that these five six products together will be good enough for you to like you know do that basic makeup uh, uh, look for the, the starting stage and then if you do like how it looks something and you can build it up so talking about like you know amount of product which goes on your skin on you not feeling overwhelming i think initially um do you don't have to have both foundation and concealer pick and choose which one you like but these two are uh, very affordable and one of my uh, favorites so this is the lacme 95 foundation it's ex inexpensive it has a lot of shade it's Lacme is one of the first foundations from Lacme which has like a wider shade range and for concealer it's the Inside Cosmetics uh, HD concealer both of them very affordable and work really really uh, well pick one base product to like conceal the discoloration or like you know highlight the under eye and stuff I'm going to use concealer and show you as well because this is one of the best ones I've tried and I really uh, like this one so I'm just going to first directly go under my eye now this might look like a lot of product but what you're not understanding is I took a little bit and then I'm just spreading it like instead of spreading it with like a brush separately I just do it with this only. This is very close to my skin. Uh, it's a little lighter but I can manage it so I'm just going to go ahead and like you know add it on the cheek or wherever I want to conceal. Now mind you this is a very like um, basic makeup look so that's how we are going to do it. It's not going to be all my wah wah boom with 30 steps of makeup. So next I'm going to blend this one with like a beauty sponge so this is the pack microfiber uh, sponge now I would definitely suggest you to buy like a sponge if you're a beginner for sure because brushes are very individualistic so you need like one brush for everything and you can't like multi-use it especially if you're like using contour and blush leather it does not work so one uh, sponge that does so much for you from creams to powders you can use this for anything so I would suggest you to like go ahead and buy a sponge if you don't have one and you're looking for like a know a good makeup tool and this is a nice one from pack they recently launched it and uh, i really like it see like one go you just blend that off and just first i blended it around the eye and then i'm kind of like bringing that down to the cheek and blending it around the cheek now i did tell you like this is a little lighter than my skin tone so of course it's going to look a little light but once i go in with the next products it's going to be manageable but if you are somebody who has like discoloration and stuff then you definitely will have to color correct and if you want to like know how to color correct and stuff i will definitely leave a link right here you can check it out it is raining so heavily guys outside i don't know if you can hear it but it has been raining mad dog and like this weather just does not make you feel like doing anything see nice no like nice easy just this only one step just brought so much like you know life uh, life to my face for blush i'm using the love earth blush and this is in the shade seize the day 
Now I'm again going to take the sponge only. I'm going to pick up the product. This makes everything easier. I'm going to dam dam dam. Like I'm, I kind of warm all my products up. Like just to make it easy while I'm applying. <gasps> Look at that pigment. It is so pigmented. So be a little careful. I'm not going to add like bronzer or like anything else. So I'm just going to, I went in a little ham with a blush. So, but you be mindful. If you are a beginner, don't go so heavy handed. Anyway, if you do go like a wet sponge and a warmed up product kind of gets blended up very easily into your skin. See, do you see it? on the nose as well so now this is like a optional step you can either do blush in this place or like bronzer i would recommend you to do blush because only doing bronzer um can sometimes make you look very like pale and dead if you like if you do bronzer i think you'll have to do blush as well because if you need that life you need that flush of color that nice like uh what do you say vibrant uh, look it, I, I, vibrant kind of sounds like loud but uh, what do you say live kind of look or some like life to your face I don't know like I need to learn more adjectives properly but uh, but if you do want that then like this is um, it like a blush does it for you like nothing uh, brings back that color to your face like a blush does so, um, yeah this is about it everybody asks me why you don't apply on your forehead but honestly in real life you can't really tell the difference you guys because of these lights like you know the light right lift like lift, 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 reflecting on my forehead there's like light you can't you can kind of tell like oh her forehead is darker but in real life you don't you can't really tell and even if i do apply product it's just going to make my forehead heavy for like no particular reason and i do not want to do that so yeah i'm going to just like leave this uh, here so next i'm going to go in with highlighter but for like generally for a beginner i would not really suggest a highlighter but i know like people get into makeup only ki are mujhe wo like bahut glowy wala skin chahiye or like you know i want to look so dewy and stuff like that and that's how that makeup goes on instagram sell you right but um in real life if you look extremely glowy and you do like if you use a highlighter you don't blend it properly it's going to make your skin look very bad with a lot of texture and if you have oily skin it's going to make it look greasy again more texture like you know you need to know like how much works and how uh, you need to apply highlighter so like even if i say no i know people will go into it so i thought might as well like use one and show you how it uh, works good highlighter and this is in the shade rose gold these are always on off you know always always on off so like just grab them when they are like on offer i'm just going to like you know take it on the back of my hand Hand. I'm just going to just warm that product again on my hand. I'm just going to add it just a little bit. Okay, highlighter is very tricky if you go overboard. Like I, I, I don't know. It's probably me, but I just don't like like too much highlighter because it just exaggerates skin texture. If you like, you know, have acne and stuff like that. So I'm like very careful. So just blend that with the hand and then go over with like a sponge and. See, easy peasy. No matter like what products you use, you have to use a powder. Even if you don't do makeup and you're somebody who generally gets oily, try using a compact powder. It just tries to like, you know, um, what do you say? Tame down all the oil you have on your face. For powder, I'm going to use the K-Beauty Compact Powder. This is the shade 140M. So I'm just going to pick that up. I'm just using a powder puff. I'm just going to dab it, especially on this oily area because that's where I get, you know, shiny. So I'm going to again go ahead, add that more, a little more. A little bit of powder makes like so much difference. Look at that, all that reflecting thing on my forehead just like disappeared. A brows, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fashion Brow Pencil. Just like fixing your brow, adding a little mascara also sometimes makes such a huge difference. If you're like into minimal makeup, I though would suggest nice brow pencil to even out your brows, mascara, lipstick, you are good to go. Like especially if you're like, you know, you don't have a lot of time to get ready and you're like, you know, you need to go to the office and stuff like that that's what you do bro like and it just like looks so nice if you want you can just go ahead and add a little bit of that uh, pink on your eyelid as well it's just you know a personal preference if you want if you don't want this to look like too blank or something i had i just added like only on this end like it's kind of like surrounded to the temple so like that way like with the color my also like you know looks a little bit lifted i know like this became a little advanced 
but i'm here to teach you like you know the best steps which you can do even if you're a beginner this does not take a lot of effort just add it in the end and blend it properly just make sure you blend it or else it'll look very very weird that's like you know you just have like a random line on like the end of your uh, uh, brows which will like which will be like oh, who which girl taught you to do makeup like this don't make me get embarrassed okay next i'm going in with set setting spray and i'm using the elf uh, uh, matte magic setting spray if you want to like lock your makeup in place then again this is one of the important steps and especially like if you're a beginner you will not know how much product to use sometimes you might use more pro like you know foundation you might use more powder setting spray just kind of melts everything and brings everything uh together so sometimes even if you feel like you've messed up your makeup come one time you like you know spritz your setting spray and you like let it be you feel like okay i think it's not that bad it's like manageable and stuff so like that's what setting spray is for me more than like locking everything in place it's just like the way it makes my all the products I've applied on my skin melt together and look so nice. For mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara again, one of the best ones from uh, Maybelline. I'm just going to nicely coat the look at that difference. Like mascara, just like mascara is mascara. I don't know what else to say about it. So for lipstick, I'm going in with the Maybelline Sensational Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Untamed Rose. This is just for 350 rupees, guys. And I really like this one. It's so pigmented. They have like 19 shades in it, which is really nice and convenient. So that like, you know, everybody gets the shade like they want. And yeah, guys, that's about it. Nice, simple, decent. I think this is very beginner friendly. If you like, you know, are just getting into makeup and you want something simple, which you can, you know, even without like any makeup skills, something you can do. I think this is the look for it. And I hope you really enjoy it. And when it comes to lipstick shades, if you want to like know affordable, good lipstick, then I have like an entire video on it. Definitely check it out. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope this video was useful. I will link all the products which used in the description box you can uh definitely check it out i think the video the, the day this video goes live like the nika sale is still going on so if you want to shop then all these will be in even more off so definitely check out the um links i do get a little bit of commission from it if you want to use the links you can use it or you can buy it from anywhere else that is okay and yeah that's about it do leave in the comments the suggestions for more videos i'm so blank at this point i have nothing no ideas uh so let me know what you want like i definitely love to film that for you guys so this video shout out goes to Jumana Afrin. Thank you Jumana for always loving and supporting. It absolutely means the world to me. If you want to be part of next video shout out and all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. If you like the video then make sure like, share and subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you in my next video. Bye.